I had a fire in January in my own residence. Wow. Yes, so, mm -hmm. so I recognized on my own uh, body being an end customer. Mm. And I, the first day I got 25 emails. <laughs> I didn't give any overview of what was mm. going on. What mm. should I do the next? So I think you, you should think more about all the information that the customer gets. You mm. are not the only supplier. There's a lot of people involved in a damage. Mm. Uh, I think you should mm. look uh, more into not being just your own, but really looking into what is the customer need. Mm -hmm. we, we say we try to walk in the customer's shoes. I mean, that's, yeah. that's how we're going to actually learn what the customer demands are. You as an insurance professional, unfortunately, have yeah. had this experience. <laughs> and even you as an insurance professional found it a confusing experience. So what I would like to do now is to show you how this could really work in a town where a claim happens. So if you take a look at this now, you see here a city and a building. And in this building, you have a private person, a tenant. Her name is Anaya Bora. She's a homeowner. She lives in Sundsvall in Sweden. For those of you who don't know where Sundsvall is, I can mention that it's somewhere in between Munich and the North Pole. And uh, uh, basically, she's an engineer, very smart, and uh, she's also an early adopter when it comes to technology. So that is why she has sensors in her home. So when everything is fine in the bathroom, it's green. But when suddenly something starts to happen, she can see that now I could have a potential problem could be a potential water damage coming up. And what is then happening is that this is sent to our back office. And here we are using a control panel, which is a software from Caption Data. And in this control panel, you can actually uh, have an alert that this customer needs some service. So then we have this Teresa Nilsson in a back office, a uh, real employee of Polygon, who would then uh, actually put that in the calendar. And once she's doing that, we have another tool here that Eric mentioned also in his presentation, the Spark app. So what is happening here? Once we go into our system, field service management, we make uh, that appointment. We say at 9 o'clock tomorrow, you will have an appointment with this technician. Two SMSs are sent then instantly. So one of them goes to Anaya Bora. So she just clicks on the link like you did today when you voted. As simple as that. And then she can follow the rest of the claim from her app, the Spark app. But also, the Anders Jenegård, the guy you saw in the movie, who said, they call me all the time and I never have a moment. I'm always busy. He can follow it as well in the app. Uh, our employee in the back office, I mentioned already that she works on a PC and she put the appointment in the calendar that triggered the SMS to the Spark app. But it also automatically puts a notification to our own technicians in the field service management system. So this is what you can see here on screen. When they are out doing the job, they get push notifications on the tablet so they know what needs to be done. So what's going on in the field service management will be reflected in the Spark app. And this is something we have enabled by integration, uh, that basically the systems are connected to each other so that all stakeholders can have the same information in real time, whether it's the unit manager of Polygon, the technician, uh, the tenant with the damage, or the property manager. They can all follow the claim in this way. It is reality, and that's the beauty of it. So, First of all, I would like to say that we have all these tools in place now, but it has been mentioned already several times today that digitalization, it's not about these tools, it's about the people. Uh, we have been partnering with Polygon since the spring of 2013, so we actually have a quite long relationship. And uh, being able to you know, support Polygon out in the field, because as you all know, you know most of, of the people is actually not sitting behind a desk, but out in the field. And to be able to provide this collaborative platform that we can do together to make sure that you can collaborate effectively, you can communicate in a good way. We are super proud to be the partners on this journey. Like Eva mentioned, the Google partnership with Polygon that started even before my time. So it's something I inherited, but I'm very happy to do that because what I've learned from that, it's a very lean structure. 
Uh, it's great to work with Google Drive and the Android platform we have. It's a perfect platform, I think, to expand. Uh, when you saw, for instance, what we're doing with the Spark and field service management, because it's a very light architecture, easy to integrate from. And I read recently in the Gartner Group that service companies like Polygon, they typically spend about 5% on their sales on IT. And we are on about 2%. So I think Google, we can thank you a lot for that, uh, to enable us to work in a such a lean way. And there's primarily two areas where we are involved. Uh, first of all is in the prevention area, mm -hmm. where we're using Internet of Things, uh, exploring how we can capture this opportunity, because I agree with Jonas here. It is an opportunity to Polygon to expand your services and to also capture this sizable op opportunity. You don't have all the, the details, but I'm sure we will be able to capture this in this uh, uh, workshopping that we are doing. Yeah. So, that, so that is a major area. But the, the, the thing I would like to talk about is the Spark app. And it's, today is actually also the first day when we are alive with the Spark app. And we are very pr uh, proud to be part of, of Polygon, working with Polygon and uh, developing this. And, and I think we, well, when we developed this jointly, I mean, we fo didn't focus on technology. I would say that is the, the critical thing. We, we focused on understanding the customer needs, both the, from a tenant perspective, from a property manager perspective, and from Polygon perspective. Yes. And from that, we built prototypes, which we tested for all these uh, customer groups. And in the end, we got the solution, which is, uh, was highly appreciated by all uh, participants in the entire chain. So, so uh, and for us as an IT company, it's so much easier to write the code when we have a prototype which is good to go. What was really a success factor in this project that we worked on together is, as Bjorn said, that we did it very closely together with tenants and property managers. We had workshops together with them and we did not write any single line of code until we made sure that what we are now building is what the customer needs. Mm. And uh, that's why we could do this in only four months. Yes. So I'm, I'm impressed by your team uh, in the discipline that that uh, required. What I would also say, if you look at this app, if you would go, for instance, to Spotify or another company, it would not be science fiction. But that goes back to your quote, Anders. It's not about the technology, it's how you use it. So for Polygon and for this property manager segments, it's exactly what you, we need. Mm. And I'm really glad that we can start here in a basic way with a hands-on app like this. What Eva talked about for the future is very exciting as well, but it's important that we think big and start small. Mm. And I think this is a very hands-on opportunity where we have simplified the app uh, to not make it too fancy, in a way, a blue car and not a Ferrari, mm -hmm. to get a metaphor some of you know about. Mm -hmm. And in that way, I think uh, we have a good platform to be successful. You're quite new at IFS as a CEO, right? Yes, so Chief Exec at IFS for 11 days now. Uh huh. Okay. So very new. So that, but that's good. You're still energized. That's very good. So uh, very welcome. Uh, why don't you still tell us a little bit about you know? Because I know that you have uh, during those 11 days you have actually started to really get into yes. the relationship between IFS and Polygon. Can you just tell us a little bit about what is it really, and, and also talk about the field service management solution? That I think many people within Polygon think about matrix as uh, that's what we're talking about, right? Sure. So, look, uh, one of the things that strikes me is, is that uh, the relationship with our customers is really a differentiator for IFS. If you think about uh, many of the other tech firms in the industry, really that, that intimacy and the customer satisfaction that IFS have is not common in, in the industry. So I have a Polygon are a critical customer for IFS. It's great that we have the relationship that we have. Our ability to get really close to our customers to understand how you're using the technology and the types of benefits that you derive is critical for us being able to shape the direction of the technology in the future. And you know, obviously that relationship is very important to us. So Polygon was raised with me as a critical customer very early on. 
Um, and that's why it was great to have the opportunity to come here and spend some time with you. We, we've got a video which we'll show shortly, but one of the mm. things I wanted to touch on, just yeah. listening to what Ava was saying and, and what Bjorn was saying, um, one of the things about it is that there, there, are, there does need to be tangible benefits. Mm. But what we see in every single industry, and, and especially in industries like yours, is that there is a tremendous amount of disruption. We see it with the, the overused examples of Uber and, and Airbnb, mm. where they disrupted really established industries. And one of the things about having uh, digitization, being digitally enabled, is that you prepare yourself to respond to an unconventional threat. And there will be an unconventional threat in your industry. And if you have digitized your business, you have the insight that you get from the Google capability, you have the platform to take action that you get with field service management, then you're prepared for that attack. And I think this Jonas? Great. I would only like to mention here that the metrics journey, it also started already five ago years ago before I was in the company. So it was also something I inherited, and it has taken us a long time to get to where we are now. But looking back at our previous system, Precom, it took us three years before people really accepted it. But we can't afford that with uh, metrics or field service management. So that is why I'm very glad, Darren, to have you on board, and I'm, I appreciate your commitment, and I think together we will make it a success.